Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk to you about a very exciting update made with Experience Cloud. I do have a video that I previously made talking about changing the color of the notification bell, which is up here on your top right. I'm in the back end of Experience Cloud in the builder. If you are not familiar with this, you can go to my playlist and find a Experience Cloud step by step video playlist that will walk you through making one. Otherwise, you should be familiar with the builder, which is where I'm at right now. Previously, I used a CSS or a cascading style sheet override. That is a code that I gave you to override and create the color of the notification bell. If I go over here on the left side, the paintbrush that says theme, I click on that and I use this carrot and go to the CSS. You can see I have it in here right here. It was for the utility notification bell and I had it marked as red. For some reason, I noticed in the last few days, it wasn't coming up as red. I started inspecting the code and they have moved this notification bell into a lightning web component. And that means I cannot override what's happening in that component anymore. It was a bit distressing to me and until I realized one thing, which I'm going to show you in just a moment, I am recording this in May of 2024. So there may be updates to Experience Cloud if you're watching this at a later date. In the CSS, we know the notification bell code is no longer working. I also have a code that I made a video for to change the color of the hamburger menu, which I will show you here. We'll hit OK. That is right here, which I've colored it red. If we view it in mobile, you can also see it's red, but the notification bell is no longer matching. And it's really important for branding. You get your colors to match. When I realized there was something different going on with the notification bell, I looked in the code and realized it was a lightning web component. We couldn't override. I found some new capabilities. If I go into the compact header here, we're going to find it under links. The link color and the link hover color is now connected to that LWC. What that means is you can declaratively change the color. I want to show you right now it's black. But I also want to show you one more thing before we move on. If I go back to my theme, the carrot and click edit CSS, we also have the hamburger menu color. I'm going to remove that for now and I'll show you what happens. Let's save this. Now the hamburger menu and the notification bell are the same color. We're going to click the compact header pull up our options. I'll move that over so we can see it better. And under links, this is where I'm going to change it. Let's make this a, a red and we'll back out of here. My bell is red, but it's also coloring our hamburger menu. Now we no longer need code for the hamburger menu or the notification bell. We can ch change the hover color. Let's change that to a green. Let's close this. Now when I hover, it changes green and the hamburger menu changes green. The reason I think this is so exciting is you don't have to use the override code with the latest release. You can now adjust your colors declaratively to show you one last time up in the compact layout. It's hidden under here. The hero is just covering it. I'm going to go back there, go to links, the link color and the link hover color are adjusting the color for your notification bell and your hamburger menu. And where that is exciting is you can use an exact RGB or hex code. Where that is helpful is I have branding colors in here. For instance, this button in my hero image, I can grab that exact color, which I have right here. It's an RGB code, but I could also use a hex code. I could copy that and I could put it in here. All my branding matches. Let's change the link color to the green and let's say the hover color, we want it to turn pink. Now I have the same color as my button, as my bell and my hamburger menu. I hover over and it changes to whatever color I want, which I picked a bright pink. So declarative, we can do more now with Experience Cloud.